So we're told that uh, Janet uh, purchased this house and sold it at a price that was greater. So she sold it for a gain. Uh, question is, this difference between the selling price and purchase price was what percent of the amount she purchased the house? So if she purchased it for P dollars and sold it for S dollars, uh, this is the gain, because they tell us that S is greater than P uh, as a percentage of how much she paid for it. This is the quantity we were looking for. Sometimes this is helpful because maybe they give you a ratio and you can figure it out, so it's important to kind of write out what they're expecting, um, meaning the question algebraically if you can. Janet purchased the house for 88000 so P is 88000 Of course, no mention of the selling price, so one alone is insufficient. Two is the selling price is nine-eighth of the amount that she purchased it for. So you can see that from this, S minus P is one-eighth of the purchasing price, and that, as a fraction of P, you can then turn it to percentage, which would be 12.5%. You don't have to do this computation, but you'll clearly see it's a unique value. So two alone is sufficient. Answer is B.